My father froze to death out on the street. He suffered a stroke some months before, and it left him not so responsible for himself. He'd take an eye off him, he'd wander out, and you'd find him out on the street asking strangers for pocket change or stealing an apple from the corner mart or looking through garbage cans. It's quite embarrassing for the family. Just such a come down for him from what he was before. Dad was a restorer, a historian with a hammer. When I was younger, he would take me with him sometimes, and I'd hang on to his long scarf and walk in the wake of his pipe smoke, cherry blend. Funny, I can catch a whiff of that now, and suddenly he's there. He'd take me to some cold ramshackle building where hinges screeched and a rat would run for cover and the roof leaked, the floor buckled and the stairs were warped, some landmark building. And grave men would be waiting there and they'd make a big fuss over me. <laughs> and they'd ask dad if he could restore this disaster back to its original condition. And dad would puff on his pipe and give a hard look. His eyes could see through decades of abuse and neglect, strip away and sandpaper the dereliction down to the run of the grain in the wood. And he'd say, yep, then do more than he promised. It was lunchtime when a police officer saw a passerby tripping over what he thought was a vagrant on the sidewalk. He nudged the vagrant with his billy club. They say freezing is the kindest death. First you tremble, then you go numb, and you curl up like a baby in a crib and sleep. 